Grant Access Features Select the Grant Access menu to share log access. Then choose your log that you want to share and select the recipient who will get the access. There are a few ways to share your lock access with the IAM website. The first method is through using the timed access function. You can turn on this feature by clicking on the button to green. Then set your start time and end time of access. The second method is through using the one time access. This means that the recipient can only access the lock one time only. You can activate this by pressing the button and it will turn green. The third method is through using the multi-approval method. Click on this multi-approval button and after it turns to green, the approval admin box will show. This is used to choose the admin that will approve the recipient who will access the lock. Use the Send Remote Access button to start sharing the lock access. Change the type to the Group option. Here, the access will be given to a group that you have created. To create a group or more information on creating a group, check on the User Management video. At the group type, you could share access with the timed access and multi-approval functions. You can look at the previous steps on how to share it with the timed access and multi-approval access functions. In the Grant Access menu, you can see your lock's shared history by pressing the Shared History menu at the top left of the page. Here, you can see the who and when details of the lock's shared access history. To check on the multi-approval shared access, go to the multi-approval menu at the left of the screen. You can find the list of shared accesses with multi-approval in this menu and edit the approval status of the shared access. Change user approval by clicking on the Change user approval to button. The green color indicates that the approval is set to approve, while the gray color indicates that the approval is set to deny. Thank you for using EasyTouch.